Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to do a little review on the brand Almighty, oh and this is a clothing brand that brands such as Dolls Kill and ASOS sell, but for this video I ordered directly off the Almighty oh website, and let's just say that I did not have the greatest experience, and I want to let you guys know my experience with the brand before you guys go and order it yourself. So back in May 30th, I ordered this shirt, and it said that it should take three to four months to deliver and then an extra three weeks expected for COVID. And so I assumed maybe like seven weeks at the most. However, it took way longer than that. And the package actually arrived yesterday on August 13th. So that was about 10 weeks. And honestly, I don't even think that it would have gotten delivered to me if I hadn't reached out and asked them where my package was. Because I emailed their customer support on August 8th, making sure that the package was shipped out. And on the package, it said that it was shipped out on August 9th, so a day after I emailed them. And that would have been fine, except for the fact that about a month ago, I think it was July 6th, they sent me an email saying that my package was on its way and that it was shipped out. So I don't know why they sent that out saying that they shipped it to me, but it never arrived even like a month later. And then it turned out that they hadn't even shipped it until I asked them about it. So as for the product itself, I got this long sleeve turtleneck and I thought the graphic was really cute. It's just this little devil and little angel smoochin'. And it's really soft, um, has this little turtleneck, and then this is the Almighty tag. And another thing I will say is that the tags themselves on the clothing items are super cute. Just this little cow print. But for the shirt itself, it runs really small. I got a small on this, and I usually am an extra small to a small in my tops, and I could barely get this on. Like, the sleeves are super tight, and they're just really long, like, I don't know whose arm is that long. But I'll insert a picture right here about what it looked like on me. Um, if I were to reorder this, I would have gotten a medium instead because it is stretchy and it feels fine when it's on, but it is kind of hard to get on. And it's a little more cropped than I thought it was going to be. And then another thing is it arrived with a little foundation stain on it, so I wasn't sure if it was a return from someone who previously bought it or what the deal was, um, but I tried to get it out and I couldn't get the stain out. So I'm assuming it's foundation because it looks like a foundation stain, but I'm not positive. And then my order also came with this little Almighty oh folder which I thought was pretty cute, and some stickers inside. So these are the stickers. They're just like plain paper stickers. So that was really cute. And then it also came with this tote bag, which is actually pretty good quality. It's a nice tote bag. And it just says Almighty oh on it with these little cherries. And then here is the tag for the tote bag. And then I forgot to mention that when the package was shipped, it was shipped as a package inside a package. So it was the original Almighty package and then shipped in the DHL package because they ship with DHL. And then also shipping itself was $9 and that was just the standard shipping. And if you wanted to get express track shipping, it would be, I think, $20, $21. And I just don't want to pay that much because especially with COVID going on, people who paid the $20 for the express shipping still had to wait like a month. And when I received my package, it said that it was shipped with Express, but I think that's just because they realized they didn't ship my order out, so they were trying to get it to me as fast as possible. So overall, the whole ordering process was just kind of a mess and really unorganized. I don't think I would order for them again. If anything, I would get their clothes off ASOS because they run better sales there and you know that you're not gonna have to wait two and a half months for your order to arrive. So just some final thoughts on the brand itself. I would say that the clothes are fairly expensive. This shirt was, I believe on sale cause they have like a little sale section. It was $37 and then they were running another sale at the time for 30% off. My total altogether ended up being about $35 after shipping and tax. So still pretty expensive. It is nice that they give you the tote and the stickers, but I would say that I would prefer to pay less and then just not give me the tote. But overall, I probably wouldn't order from them again. I don't really recommend that you guys order from them. And if you do, probably go to 
brands such as ASOS. I know Dolls Kill is getting a lot of heat right now, but they also sell Oh Mighty, the brand. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful if you were planning on ordering from Oh Mighty. And if you have any other questions that I forgot to address, you can leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.